got you guys have been sort of kicking around the possible return ever since the the first movie came out what about uh now really sort of like the how did the stars sort of align for it to happen now i mean what we've been saying and is just true is that laura michaels just makes shit happen <laughs> like he is he he willed the movie into existence uh i think we executed to the best of our ability and then this series is the same thing and uh, you know like we we did have interviews over the last like 10 years where we would just sort of say like yeah sequel's happening <laughs> and and i think that that's how it ended up on imdb as a, a possible thing um but none of that was true and then and then you know like we we had always wanted to make a sequel. I did write a, a, a when I was waiting around because these guys were on Last Man on Earth for so long. I I did write a like a, a spec, basically a spec for these guys, like for John and Will to read, <laughs> of like an of an idea of a of a sequel. And then the first act of a like a retooled version. Once these guys like gave me notes on on stuff, the first act of that movie kind of became the first episode uh, after after we obviously retooled it again and again. Um, and then, but we had always known that we'd wanted to make a more of a movie uh, than than a TV show, and that's kind of what this feels like. It's it's like a long movie broken up into eight parts with like a lot of cliffhangers and blah blah. blah. But it it gave us more opportunities in, in, in a way to have it be a series that we could just sort of flesh out like all this emotional stuff and blah, blah, all the stuff that like keeps you engaged in the dumb 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 comedy. And John, one. anything to add to that? That's a great one. That one is perfect. <laughs> All God, right. So much copy. <laughs> well, you almost since you do talk about uh your your guys's efforts to make this uh like a full action movie. I mean, the the look of this series I feel like is un unlike anything that we've seen before in terms of television where it does feel like it looks just like the movie. And so since you have such a big hand in the director's chair with this one as you did with the movie. I mean, what's that like? finding that you know right look for the show as much as with the movie i mean it's a decision uh that all of us are involved in i mean we are very much like a it's it's sort of almost like a four-headed monster honestly because like our, our buddy dave noel who's a producer on this is also like very instrumental in like the tone of, of this sort of thing but like but um but i think we always knew that we wanted to enhance the look of the series and so when me and john were looking for for a DP that could, could could bring that, we interviewed a couple people, and there's some amazing candidates. But like, but our buddy Brandon, who shot uh, uh, the the movie and has since gone on to major like his work with Seth and Evan now, but like shot uh, two like you know like uh, um, two films for my wife, Marielle Heller, who's a much more talented director than I. He's just done everything, and we couldn't get him because he was doing Sonic the Hedgehog too. And he suggested this guy Jesse Feldman, who was like this guy is me. <laughs> and Jesse, I think like brought, like we shot, got to shoot anamorphic. Like I, the, the amount of shit that like uh, Peacock said yes to like without questioning us is so shocking. Um, but we were like, we were all very much of the same mind of like, yeah, let's get this very dramatic. <laughs> like he makes it look, I mean, and I think that weirdly the, the look of the, the series is sort of enhanced from even what the movie was. So I think so. I'm, we're, very, we're it's it's exactly what we wanted sort of thing. So whether it's successful or not will remains to be seen, but we're we're very proud of it. So then, John, I'll throw my last question to you. Uh, I mean, if you guys, I mean, it, it, the show does end on a pretty nice note, but still has room for more. So have you guys started kicking around ideas for uh, potentially more if Peacock's interested? Oh yeah, we've 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 uh, we've already been greenlit for how many seasons, Yorma? They're, say they're saying four, but it might be five. Maybe five seasons. And yeah, and they've, and they've also promised that each season there will be an additional $10 million just, just to play with, basically, because they like they love the action stuff, but they also want to get even uh, bigger and better cast, which is like, I don't know if it's even possible sort of thing at this point, but we're also going to do a whole international thing. We're going to shoot uh, part of season two in China. Yeah, they're so confident. They're just confident. Yeah, they confident. They love, they love, it, and they hate money. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to give it away as fast as possible. <laughs> well, I certainly hope that some of that does come true because I would love <laughs> to see more of MacGruber in the future. I I had a blast watching the show, okay. and I can't wait to spread the word. Thank you guys oh, thank so much you. for taking the time. I appreciate it. Yeah.